feel like to me, fit is somebody that has the freedom to play. If your way of playing is making sure that you can play fetch with your dog, which could just mean sitting comfortably, throwing something, but without there being significant amounts of pain or you know some limitations, or if there are limitations and there are pain, we're able to like approach that with compassion and we're able to like meet our bodies where they're at at that day. And <laughs> I feel like that does not line up at all with how we define fit where it's more based on performance. I feel like a lot of gyms lead with the discipline and lead with the like, this is how it has to be, you were doing it wrong. You know, you have to say, let's say, even if you're like, we're present with our bodies, it's like, you're doing it wrong, we have to stay present, you know? And instead being like, this is normal, see if you can like soften into the experience of like, just for a few seconds here. There are totally times that we know that you're not even gonna be in a place to work on that, and you just need to go in, sweat, and in the meantime, your phone's sitting on the box and you're kind of checking your mail, whatever. But we try to allow space for all of that to happen because, you know, if you come in here and you're like, I'm hungover today, but I know that it would maybe feel good for me to move my body somehow. Maybe it's not exactly what's on the board, but I kind of will do something. There have been so many people that I've talked to who said they were in the parking lot about to go to the class and then just like turn around and went home. That's totally happened many times. We think about that and we're like, man, like they went out, they put on the clothes, they did all the, the steps that every like online thing says like, this is how you prepare for a class and then you just gotta do it. And I think ultimately like internally from the like self perspective thing, it's, it's more understanding that you're deserving of showing up to do something that may be difficult. And like having somebody to just kind of remind you a little bit to lead with compassion, be a little softer with yourself um, first. And then what we actually do, if you're like, well, well, how do I, what are the steps to like get me connected with my body? Um, we spent a lot of time on this as a team, like working on this pretty recently. Anytime we go into a team meeting, we really focus on like point to point, um, like I wouldn't say corrections, but just point to point directions. And what that looks like is let's say you're in a plank and I'm gonna come up to you and say, move your hands wider. And so what you have there is a verb, your body part, something, you know? So that gives me a really clear connection to your body and then you can give me feedback like, you know, does that feel better? Does that feel worse? Does that feel the same? You know, I'm gonna take the first point to point is gonna be the one that's the most helpful to you and your safety. So like that's always gonna be my concern of like making sure that you're not hurting yourself obviously, but then also being able to connect to yourself and be like, this is how I'm protecting my body. This is how I'm supporting my body in this particular movement. As simple of a statement as like move your hands wider, somebody might move their hands wider and move them also forward or move them also back or then take their fingers in as well. And so that's another cue, move your fingers out wider or press into the ground. And then we can start building on that. Um, if they're like, ooh, I discovered that for my squat, I like having my feet a little more narrow and that feels better on my hips. Or like finally after, you know, 10 times, I keep hearing in different classes, take your hips back in your squat, take your hips back in your squat. And then finally they're like, oh, I took my hips back in my squat and that feels better on my knees, awesome. And so finally they get to connect the pieces. There's nothing I can do other than like physically changing your body somehow like that I can make that happen. You're still gonna be the actor in that. We move away from weight loss, fat loss, whatever you wanna call it as a marker of progress and how well we are doing with our programming and our whatever we provide here. Once you take that away, now you have all of this like kind of qualitative, not quantitative stuff. This is not just um, the body positivity movement as like making people feel okay about being, you know, okay, just kind of like meh, just passing by. It's, it's truly like helping people 
take charge of their actual health status. Whatever your range of wanting to be in your body is, like that you are able to move in it.